Hmm. Let's look through any valuable ones. If there were any, like, sermons around here, Speak that would also be excellent. Outlander, or go away. Oh, shit. Uh, let me through, please! Please, let me through! Uh, let me through, lady, come on! Oh, shit! I find that, uh, in this, it's really difficult to get past people. <laughs> right? I find that's- Oh, you know what? Oh my god, we have just the tool for this. <laughs> When we had last left, the prisoner, bound by prophecy, they had at long last their first meeting with the pervert Crassius Curio. And in their meeting with that man did they shake their ass and get naked for him in order to appease his dark whims. But their business within the Great House Lalu took them also to the realm of Caldera, and it was there that they ran into one of the mining magnates of that place, and they had to do a little bit of work for them just as well, only to discover that indeed this ebony mining magnate was a piece of shit! This is the Elder Scrolls III Morrowind. This is Morrowind Mondays. I don't know why we got so sad there. I'm sorry, I'm like all... I'm like all over the place right now. Alright, let's, let's do it, huh? Oh, shit, almost forgot. Got a lot of business to tend to. Here, let me look at my handy-dandy notebook. Let me see. Oh, right, yeah. Remember, I was going to look up some location for some spells that we wanted to get. And Command Humanoid we could pick up in Aldrun, but unfortunately, it's only a 5 magnitude one, which is pretty piss poor, right? 5 magnitude? That's garbage. But, um, thankfully... We can get some via items and all that. Perhaps random rolls and all that. Or there might end up... I Just by pure serendipity did I uncover this by browsing around the UESP. But it might be coming up that we're going to get one very soon. <laughs> A guaranteed one. Also, um, even though we may not go out there, we may still want to go to Aldrun and Underscar to get a mark spell. Which I think... Oh dear lord, I hope that's the one that we need. Yeah, okay. <laughs> We've got recall, we need mark. Great. Yeah, so that should be taken care of. Also, gentle viewer Iris VP wrote in saying that, Indeed, totally forgot throughout all this, that while we were doing this dude's terrible, dirty work, right, we were meant to report back to Crassius and get some sort of information relayed and get some sort of extra something-something on the side, you know? But, totally forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> Got too distracted by the current goings on and all that. You know how it is. <laughs> if the journal doesn't say anything to remind me every step of the way, I'm just too dumb to be able to follow through. Also, general viewer Magical Mysterium wrote in, pointing out that this glass dagger we tried to sell last time, the reason why we were only getting like piss poor amounts of money for it is because it isn't really broken. This glass dagger we have... Its condition is 2 out of 300. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> and of course, thanks as well to all the folks who gave those people likes and, you know, did a little signal boosting and all that stuff. Right? Appreciate it. Let's do some quick repairs here. Beautiful. Love it. Okay. Now, I've been wondering. Do we... Do we dare continue on our business... With this wretched I'm asshole? I'm to be at your service, Outlander. Or do we go report back to Crassius, Crassius before we accept the next thing in the hopes that we'll get something? I don't know. I think we just continue down this hell route. I think we continue down this route that we have carved out for ourselves, right? We make a cannon that we have fucked up like a complete buffoon, right? So, Odral Helvi... I'm ready. 
what's next? What what do you demand of me? What brings you to Caldera, Lyle Schnub? Uh, some business, dude. There is an error in some of the documents in the Hall of Records. I need someone to replace these erroneous documents. Erroneous documents? I have discovered a serious error in some of the land deeds for the Escadian Isles. I want you to take this land deed to the Lalu Records in Vivek. Look for a chest of land deeds for the Escadian Isles. Put this scroll in the chest and bring me the old land deed. Very well. Okay. It is really cool and interesting that for this part of House Lalu, like before there were there were other ways to resolve the quest, right? Which were really cool, right? You could double down on backstabbing people and shit like that. Really cool, but also cool in this way in which it's set up and you can report to multiple people, right? Just didn't get that same kind of cool flavor and all that for uh, House Redoran, right? Once again, we'll reiterate that, like, as much as I love House Redoran and all of their, like, cool, like, bug shit and giant crab and all that stuff and all the places that they live i love their aesthetic so much relative to the others they're just they're so much cooler around the time that the red year rolls around right that's when they're so that's when they're operating at their peak as all this like um political intrigue is turning the wheel is turning right the red year is happening somehow house redering gets catapulted to like the head of a lot of shit, right? They they come in and are able to pull shit off, whereas the others are either dissolving or falling to the wayside or being kind of apathetic, right? That's when House Redoran is its most interesting, right? Okay. But, hey, sure, we'll do this. Let's hear this again. Anything new? Have you done as I asked? Do you have the old land deed? And is the new one in its place? No, not yet. Do I have to find someone more reliable to do my petty deliveries? Go replace this fort that is the erroneous deed in the chest at the Lalu treasury in Vivek. Make sure you bring me the original. All right. Very well. <laughs> cool. All right. I like how he, he even slips up like some kind of cartoon villain. <laughs> Great. Okay. I wonder if at the end of this, if this dude gets like... I don't know. Taken out, you know? Like, either removed from the premises I can and taken elsewhere, or maybe we take him out, right? Who knows? Okay, let's head on over to that place that we know and love. That's right. Aldron, to pick up a spell. Because <laughs> it will really come in handy for us going back and forth from some of these places, right? It'll be a, of massive use to us. Outlander, are. what do you want? What's this about? And let's warp on over to Aldrun. There we are. Good. Guild of Mages, as they all are. Lovely. It's such a, like... Gosh, it's so understated nowadays, right? Because it's quite expected. But for its time, for what Morrowind was doing, and shit, even, even like, later games didn't quite nail it quite to... to the same level didn't quite have the same effect and all that, right? But the way in which each area has its own sort of, like, each great house has its own distinct ar architecture and, like, aesthetic and culture and all that, right? It's so cool. It's so, like, pronounced for such an early-ass game, right? Like, good lord, this is... This is on the generation of consoles that's, like, right after the 3D era, right? Right, it come preceding or following... You know, the PlayStation 1 and N64 and all that shit, right? Yeah. Like, holy wackadoo. Granted, you know, it's nothing new. But it's wild to see it in a game of this scope, you know? Especially since, you know, there's games nowadays that don't quite exactly do it. It's just part of the charm, you know? The, uh... The sum of these parts... Becomes greater than the... Or... What? <laughs> the whole is greater than the sum of its parts, right? Yeah, you know. Figure that one out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You know what I mean. You got it. Sure. No problem. All right. Actually, is this is this person that I'm looking for? Where's their house again? Let me see. Let me check their name. Gulls Lervu. Are they around here? Let's see. 
Sarathi Manor, Bivale, Ramarin, Venom, Ragtong Guildhall, Lethervari, Erebor. Okay, so up in here, deeper still. Fair enough. I know that they're under Scar somewhere, uh, but I'm not sure now. precisely where. Right. Like, if anything, you know, to, to go back on that point, that's one of the small qualms I had about Oblivion, right? You know, Oblivion has its own charms in and of itself, and that's kind of a... It is kind of goofy, right? It doesn't take itself too seriously and all that shit, right? It's kind of goofy in that way. But, you know, there's not too much of a distinction between many of the houses. Like, it's definitely there, right? Or the houses, the, the different uh, cities and all that, the different areas of Cyrodiil. It definitely exists... But for me, at least, it pales in comparison to how Morrowind pulled it off, and Skyrim just as well, right? Let's see, over here. There you are. Gol's Lairvu. Great. Very good. Like, the biggest... I, I would say difference would be, like... Like, Skingrad has a pretty distinct feel, right? But when you look at, like, Hall and Coral... There's differences there, but you have to look a lot closer than, like, for example, here, just like, I don't know, Aldrun and Balmora, right? Okay. Uh, what now? Goals Lervu. I don't believe- okay, we know about that. Tell me your background. I'm Goals Lervu, priest and lawman of the Great House Redrin. Okay, lovely. Let's check your barter here. Good. Actually, do you have anything that I would want? Any potions I would want? And not in particular, but... Very important. I didn't even realize this at the time. And <laughs> this is certainly... Don't think that I was being very clever and picking this person ahead of time because I knew that they sold spells and had a barter menu. Right? That's not why, but... Uh, certainly, it, it helps. <laughs> Alright. Do we already know Elm CV Intervention? Which one do we know? Let me double check here. Ah, we know Divine. Very good. So now we can pick this one up. Also, let's wait for an hour. Get that topped off. Our fatigue. There we are. And yeah, let's buy some shit, right? Well, let's make sure we have this open. So 150, right? And then you should actually have this money on hand. So we could like trade off, right? Yeah, we could barter this glass dagger for some of these amazing spells. Beautiful. Okay. So what else would I want? Fortify attribute personality? Nah. Fortify health. Dispel? Maybe. Divine aid? Yeah. Fortitude mark? There we go. That's a good one. Nimbleness? Oh shit. Jeez, this does everything. But it's on self. Hmm. Yeah. And we'll- we can get better for free, right? Oh, look, fortify speed. 10 points for 60 seconds. Kind of, kind of tempted by that. Rally humanoid. Oh, fortify strength. Wow. Troll's gift. Okay, maybe not fortify speed would I be interested in, but troll's gift. Shit, dude. I might be kind of down for that. Let's see. Viv Velos grace. A heal. Vivix feast. Cure Blight on self. Hmm. Dude, let's get Troll Strength. Holy shit. Let's do it. Okay. And then... What else would I want? Hmm. Anything else here I would... That I would like to have? Huh. I don't know. There are a few things, right? Certainly. But let's see how much we can get... For this dagger from this... Oh, you don't even buy it! Well, good thing we were careful then. Fuck me. <laughs> it didn't even occur to me. Okay, sure. Anything that we could sell you? I guess I could sell you this Cyrodiilic brandy. Right? I don't need that for the time being. Hmm. Could get rid of more potions. Nah, we'll hold off. There we go. Good. Okay, because that guy doesn't even really like us that much. <laughs> right? Oh shit. How do I get out of here? Oh, we must have come in from a different route. Let's see, anything else here that I should, like, be mindful of? 
Yeah, probably. Oh shit, there goes my pick. Alright, over here. Cool. What have you got? Oh my gosh, it's everything that you own. <laughs> Beautiful, I love it. Okay, cool. Let's get all those restore health potions, right? Should we just take everything? Can I afford to do that? Hmm. I think so. Yeah. I can take it and still move. Alright, quick save again. There we are. And let's disarm the trap here. Great. 56 big ones. Love it. Okay, should we eat this hound meat? Of course. Has no effect on me though. Let's do another quick save just in case he patrols around. I don't know. There we go. We'll eat this delicious food. Anything? Rat meat? No thank you. This stuff though. The salt rice? Hell yeah. Alchemy XP, baby. There we go. Oh, this thing is locked. Oh, interesting. Is this the dude who's holding on to the fucking, like, super hat or whatever that everybody wants? No, it's not you. Okay. Weird. Why'd you lock that up like that? Alright, fine. I guess because you just let people into your house. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Let's look through these. There we are. Hmm. Man, look at the textures on these books here, on the spines. Thanks to the... Algorithmically modified textures and all that. Fuck, look at that. Or maybe these are some of the ones done by hand, right? I don't know, the spines look especially good. Like, they look... They look kind of legible, but at the same time also weathered, right? I don't know. It has almost like this kind of weird painterly quality to it. Okay. Or, like, watercolor quality. I don't know. I'm not an artist. I don't know what word I'm looking for. It looks cool. <laughs> it looks cool, is what I'll say. <laughs> as as a non-expert in this shit, I think it looks cool. <laughs> Alright. Let's get out of here. I suppose you're looking for a tavern. I'm sure I can't help you. Jeez. I've never heard that one before. Alright. Over here. I guess we could check in on the Enchanter, right? The Enchanter out here has a fair amount of money, right? Like 2k? This was my go-to Enchanter during the first volume of Morrowind Mondays, right? I say that, and yet I don't even remember exactly where the fuck they live. <laughs> okay. Over here. Good, good, good. Yeah, this has got to be it. Lovely. Cool. And let's take a look. We'll we'll even rest for like an hour. I'm not sure how closely affiliated they are to House Redoran, so they may also hate us. Speak, right. traveler. Eh, 45. I'll take it. Yeah, there we go. Look. Almost got everything. Let's see. Do you have any like cool items I would want? Hmm. Just this amulet, which isn't half bad. But the issue is that it only has 25 charge. Jeez. Okay. Is there any, like, weird and cool scroll I might want? Feather, fortify luck, absorb a bunch of shit, absorb more shit, absorb, absorb, cure some stuff on self, absorb. Oh, nah, eh, undust. I need Akash's lock splitter or whatever it is, right? Eh. Command, six levels, though. Lesser domination. Okay, anything else? Blind, soul trap, shock damage. I mean, these scrolls are worthwhile. Like, this one, the damage one? That ain't half bad. Right? That could really come in handy for, like, a super tough fight. We just, like, s toss in a whole bunch of fucking magic damage, you know? Right? Like, we could just invest our money in, like, having a... An oh shit button, right, so to speak. But for the time being, I don't know, we're kind of okay. We've already got one scroll of Hellfire. Which, you know, if we roll really high on this thing, we'll, it would be fucking amazing, right? Yeah, I think we're good for the time being. Let's just pump that up by one. Good. Okay. Lovely. Unless I can, like, break back into 
your stores. Fuck, I don't think so. This better be important. Yeah. <laughs> not at this level, not without some serious chameleon going on, right? Fucking A. Alright. Let's head on over here to the Mage's Guild, right? Yeah. There we go. Good. Look at this. Really walking along the bottom of the crab? Jeez. You need like a proper path or something. Like people are gonna be slipping and sliding all over that crab's bottom. It's interior bottom. It's inner ass. What was that? Okay. Good. Look at this. Sunrise in Eldrun. Oh my gosh. Almost as good as the sunset, right? Or sundown, whichever you prefer. There we are. And then, let's head on over in through this. Good. And we'll take the guild guide back to Vivek, right? Let's see, has our, whatchamacallit, recharged yet? Let's see. Oh, jeez. I keep forgetting what I bind, what I've bound it to. I still haven't gotten into, oh no, it definitely has not. Okay, but it's on four, nonetheless. Okay, we can rest here or wait here for like a fucking day. <laughs> right? We'll just pretend like, you know, we walked there. Good. Okay. We may have enough juice in it now. Okay, now, Vivek. Good. What is this about? Do you need? Oh, goodness. Alright. Oh, whoops. We have to go down and around. And then we'll go meet with Crassius again. Right? I'm sure he'll be happy about that. <laughs> okay. Up through here. Let's check this on our way out. May as well. I have no idea where we are in the timer now. <laughs> I've, I've completely lost track of it, right? It's it's about one month, right? It's about... It's either 30 days or 60 days. I forget. I think it's 30, right? That those respawn? Fuck, now I don't know. I remember in uh, Sound and Graphics Overhaul, in Volume 1 of Morrowind Mondays, it was, it was kind of messed up and bugged up and all that, right? Yeah. Hey, you know what? I was thinking about um, this the cool effect of this dagger. You know what this would work great in conjunction with? Especially in these early times? The fucking boots of blinding speed, right? Like, we, you know, we won't be able to use them like we did normally until we can somehow get our hands on more uh, Magicka Resist, right? To get remove, or at least partially remove the blinding effect, at least while we're, like, traveling. But... If we wanted to, you know, we could steer around with the mini-map, right? Like we did in the early times of Morrowind Mondays Volume 1, right? I think maybe that's something we should keep in mind, right? Okay, over here. Because once we levitate, we don't have to worry about, like, running into shit, right? We can just go full speed ahead. What Make a beeline straight for our objectives. Okay, you find over here. You see, Good. Yeah, maybe after we get all of Curio's hey, shit done here, maybe maybe we should actually for real go out and meet Pimeni and try and get those boots, right? Why not? Because it's kind of a lower level quest and all that, right? And by pure serendipity of having this dagger, right, we're in a good position to where we can use it without, like, getting completely fucked up, right? I mean, we still could use it with the minimap, but it's even more effective thanks to our levitate. And it's like, you know, it's a fairly lengthy levitate effect. It's, yeah, 30 seconds. Well, hello there. A pleasure to meet you. All right, Crassius, check it out. I've, you know, I told you that I would meet with you and tell you all this shit, but, you know, funny story about that. I may have just forgotten a little bit to do that, but come on. Come on, you'll forgive me, you'll forgive me. <laughs> have, <laughs> have you done any more business with Odral Helvi? If he asks you to do something suspicious, keep me informed, and I will reward you, Pudding. Business? You're doing well, Dumpling. Just speak with Odral Helvi again and keep me informed. Can we talk about the mining contracts? It sounds like you already took care of everything, my sweet. Alright, how about... The erroneous documents. 
Give me the old land deed, Pudding, and Uncle Crashes will take care of everything. Give him Odrow's land deed. Keep Odrow's land deed. Okay. Oh, this is the one already. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. Great. Okay. This works out great. Wow. Who would have thought? <laughs> wow. Jeez. Look, we don't even show up for the first ones, but guess what? We showed up for the most important one of all. <laughs> this is that the fucking shit that I was talking about where we're going to get our... This is it for the command spell and all that. Great. Lovely. <laughs> Couldn't have worked out better for me. All right. Don't trouble your sweet little head over this anymore. If you don't have the original land deed, you'll still need to fetch that for Odral. When you speak with him again, turn your irres irresistible charms on him some more. Don't let him suspect a thing. And take this little present from me. Wouldn't want anything to happen to you. Alright, cool. And I'm pretty sure that is exactly what we're looking for, right? Alright, let's see over here. Erroneous documents, anything else? Don't worry your pretty little head about it. I'll take care of everything. Very well. Let's see what we wrote in our journal. Odral Helvi wants me to replace a scroll in the Hlalu records in Vivik. The records are part of the treasury, which is in the top level of the Hlalu wasteworks on the north side. I should put the scroll in the chest of Ascadian land deeds. Right. I gave the false document to Crassius Curio. He said he would take care of the matter. Right, but didn't he also say that I need to go and, um... Let's see, erroneous. Let's see. Alright. If you don't have the original land deed, you'll, you'll still need to fetch that for Odral. When you speak with him again, turn on your irresistible charms on him some more. Okay. Yeah, so we do still need to get the, the one from, what do you call it, from the treasury. It is from the treasury, right? Let's double check. Yeah, the Hlalu records. Okay. Very well. Okay, just to make it seem as though we went in there, right? Maybe okay, all over here. You Good. All right. Over this way, and then we need to go down into the waste works, I believe, right? Yes. Okay. Over here. Good. I'm assuming he's... Do we know exactly who he's working in cahoots with? I would guess since it's in the Escadian Isles region, which is right about here, right? This whole section just kind of like north-ish of Vivek. I'm assuming he's like in cahoots with the Kamana Tong, right? I would assume? Huh. Does... Is the implication that the Kamanatong is also getting money from Ebony Trade then? Is this like a big source of their income? Is he funneling money to fund their like criminal empire? Right? Like I'm assuming he's... The land deeds are, are for um... Shit, I guess I should have read them, right? I, I guess I should have read them. Fuck me. Actually, you know what? I'm very curious about that. Let's see, I'm quick saving. Let's go on back here. Let's go over here. Good. Okay. And then, let's read this just to see. Odrell's land deed, yeah. I just want to know what it says. Okay. By the grace of Almsivi, lords and rulers of all, know all Dunmer by these words that Muthsera Ravon Arvel has agreed to sell the land south of Arvel Manor and east of Pelagia to Orvis Dren. Ah, yes. All right. Ah, yes. <laughs> of course. Orvis Dren, right. Okay, we were we were spot on. Ravon Arvel has also agreed to sell the small farm between the land belonging to Dren and Fort Pelagia to Odral Helvi. Seal of the buyers, Orvis Dren, Odral Helvi. Seal of the seller, Ravone Arvel. Right. Okay. Which Orvis Dren would want to use to grow the, like, slave plantation and all that, right? I wonder how much money they're exactly making, though, off of the slave labor, right? I don't know. I would assume, like, 
the it them using the plantation is a front, right? For them to like get the slaves and like do essentially, you know, like human trafficking, right? Like it's a front. Like them them having the plantation and all that fucked up shit is a good excuse for the, to get them ha their hands on like legal slaves and then traffic them elsewhere, right? For a bigger pay. Okay. Maybe to the fucking sixth house, right? Because we know the sixth house is involved in like some of the illicit operations going on in Vardenfell, right? We totally know for a fact that they get their fingers into that. And that's one of the ways that they um, exert control over Vardenfell is through such things, right? Which also. <laughs> Given the six houses national like hyper nationalist tendencies, they would also be in favor of slavery, right? To be perfectly clear, they are also in favor of the slavery. <laughs> All right. Let's go on over here to Oh shit, look. I fucked it up. I got too I got too excited thinking about the various lore implications and all that. All right. We need to go up in here over to Let's see. I did load the right save, didn't I? Let me double check. Okay, yeah, good. Let's see, over here, canal works, no, treasury, there we are. Good, and we've seen the records area before, right? We've gone by that. Over here. Lovely, good, good, good. Okay. See, Morrowind has like, Really, especially with the the house Lalu shit, like I'm I'm really impressed. Like some of the writing here, I think is kind of, you know, on par with like the main quest. You know, right? A lot of the the intricacies and all of that. I guess that's because you know, House Lalu is so embroiled into the politics. Is is House Telvani also that interesting? Right? I don't know. I have no idea because. Part of what makes the House Lalu shit so interesting is their ties to, like, um, the Empire. Their ties to the Duke, right? Duke Vadam Dren. The ties to the Kamanatong. And the Kamanatong's ties to the Sixth House, right? That's what makes House Lalu so fucking interesting is, like, how intertwined they are with so much of the fucking, like, political intrigue, right? That's what makes it so fucking juicy. Whereas, you know, a lot of... House Telvani also kind of pride themselves on so being isolationist, right? So I, I don't know. I could see it going either way, right? In fact, maybe that's how it is, right? Some of them, it, it is maybe perhaps hit, hit or miss. Very interested to get to that, right? And see how that plays Where out, especially relative there? to this. What do you want? God. Okay. Over here. Hmm. We'll have no trouble here. Well, this is not what we want. I want the records over here. Good. Should we look through these books? Let's see. Hmm. Let's look through any valuable ones. Like, Arcana Restored? Nah. Hmm. There's one there. The Waters of Oblivion? Nope. Nothing. Over here. If there were any, like, sermons around here, Speak that would also be excellent. Or go away. Oh, shit. Uh, let me through, please! Please, let me through. Oh, let me through, lady. Come on. Oh, shit. I find that uh, in this, it's really difficult to get past people. <laughs> right? I find that's... Oh, you know what? Oh, my God. We have just the tool for this. <laughs> should we use it for here? Fuck, yeah, we should. All right. Let's see. Let's put it on six, I think. Magic menu item. And let's see. The Amulet of Domination. Yeah. Command humanoid and creature. Ten levels. That's most people, right? Unless they're like combat people, right? But most regular ass people you'll find will fall within that range, I think. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, yes. Okay. Great. Okay. And then let's wait for an hour. And then that should have... Oh, fuck! Come on! Come on! Oh! 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought she was about to get back into position and make me <laughs> just fuck me over big time. <laughs> oh fuck. Okay. Let's see. Anything else here? Ah, the Escadian land deeds, right. Man, it's right there. Yo, okay. Fine. Let's see. Can we lure anyone somewhere else that's fun? Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. Hmm. Not really. Let's see. Because you, time is you precious, came right so back to this quick. place. Let's see. Can I talk to you about some erroneous documents? Huh? Anything? I don't care what Odral told you. Our records are accurate. Our integrity is unquestionable. I resent your implications. I suggest you leave before I call the guards. Oh my gosh. Okay. Have you ever thought about maybe you leaving, though? Have you ever thought about that? <laughs> what if you leave? <laughs> okay. Oh shit. Alright. There we are. Great. And then let's wait for an hour. Lovely. Cool. And then... Boom. Ascadian Isles Land Deed. Lovely. Let's give it a read. Ah, oh, shit. No, I don't want to break it. Okay, close. Good. That said, I... Non-canonically, I do. I'm gonna cheese it. I want to know what it says. Okay. Just for the sheer intrigue of it all. Okay, so what is this one? So this one does not include... Oh, interesting. This one doesn't include Helvi. Oh, wild. Huh. By the grace of Amsevi, lords and rulers of old, know all Dunmer by these words that Mutsera Ravon Arvel has sold the land south of Arvel Manor and east of Pelagia to Orvis Dren. Ravon Arvel retains the right to one small farm near Pelagiad, currently held by Lovin Andis. Seal of the buyer, Orvis Dren. Seal of the seller, Ravon Arvel. Right. Interesting. Huh. So this one farm that Arvel retains the rights to is what's up in contention, right? Currently held by Lovin Andis, right? I don't know who that is. Maybe we should go out there and meet them and, and like, figure out what's their whole deal. Maybe they're completely unimportant, right? And they're just, like, filler flavor NPC, right? Worth looking up on UESP, though. Who is this and how they're interlinked with all this, you know? But what's interesting is that no matter how you cut it, this is going to Orvis Dren, right? The change is that Helvi is getting in on the action, right? Probably for him and his, like, little secret, like, I don't know, sugar baby or whoever she was, right? The, like, secretary or whatever. And this is for them to, like, escape or get away, right? That's set up for them. But I do like that no matter which way you cut it, Orvis Dren is winning here, right? The the real fucked up big bad guy, Orvis Dren, is, is winning, <laughs> right? So in a way, right, in a way the, like, quote-unquote good notions, the good behavior here of working with Crassius were actually helping Orvis Dren, who is, like, a massive piece of shit, right? No matter what, we're uphold- we're not necessarily helping, but we're upholding stuff that is enabling Orvis Dren, right? Huh. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. I mean, it's terrible, right? <laughs> to be clear, it's- it's terrible, <laughs> but, you know, from, from the point of view of, of it being, like, intriguing, it's incredible. All right, let's quick load that. Good. And let's get out of here. We should probably we'll bring you back. Yeah, huh? I help you, Outlander. Scum. There we go. Oh, look, she's trying to get <laughs> she's trying to get back in there. This Where must be, slain? um... Is yeah, this a function of OpenMW? No, because what's her name? Orain Fairness didn't do it. This must be unique to her. Oh, that's fascinating. So now, no matter what, she's going to just, like, keep ramming right into this, like, 
like she's in Oblivion or Skyrim, right? <laughs> Amazingly, right? Amazingly, NPCs in in a uh, in Morrowind don't have this issue because <laughs> they just don't move like that, right? <laughs> There's no way for it to break in that way because they don't move that often, right? They don't have their their daily schedules and shit like that. They don't have to worry too much about pathing. Just a little route to patrol if they do. All right, there you go. Here, come back in here. She needed an escort to get through the uh, the doorway. Great. Okay. And then let's wait for an hour. Let that fade off. Good. Beautiful. What a great fucking thing. Is there thing. something you need? I'm assuming this it doesn't work on them, right? They they must be higher than ten levels, right? No way. Does it? Yeah, okay, it does not. <laughs> I was like, no way does it work on the fucking ordinators. They must be way above that level range. Okay. Let's head yes, on up sir. and out of here. There we are. I and can spare this a few way. moments if you care to talk. Oh, you know what? I forgot. We need to lay a mark down, don't we? Yeah, let's definitely do that. Okay. Over here. Watch yourself. And let's go this long no way, because then the plaza should be in the center here, right? Yeah. And then we'll plant a mark spell right up in this sucker. Alright, and then... Is this Curio's place? No. Which one is it again? This one? I think so. Huh. There we are. Good. And then we'll go into hey, the basement. Do you have there we are. Lovely. And over here. Okay. Wonderful. Now, let's scarf down a... Well, let's see. Let's heal up for an hour. Get our chance to cast up high. Right? How much magicka does it even cost to mark? 18. Okay. There we are. Let's see. Will we be able to do this? I wonder. Okay. Mark. Ooh, fuck. A 17% chance. Oh, shit. How much is recall? 17 as well. Oh, shit. We are no good at this shit. <laughs> okay. Fine. Let's do a quick save. Alright. Fuck. Okay. Should we just roll with it? Look, we've got the magicka for it. Yeah, let's just roll with it. Alright. One of these will work. 17% chance. We'll, we'll get there. Alright. Let's get a couple more in us. There we go. Fuck. Oh shit, not enough juice anymore. Do I have any others that aren't part of this, like, enormous stack? Eh. Should I take the quality one? Or save it? Now let's get- let's clear out the heavy shit, right? Okay. Come on, big money, big money. Hey, there we go. There's our mark. All right, beautiful. <laughs> How many casts did that take us? Doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. We got so many extra magic potions. It's all good. <laughs> okay, lovely. Let's also make sure we get rid of that. <laughs> that way I don't accidentally try and cast it somewhere else and for all we know, right, it, it works and we, we end up being marked like, I don't know, in the middle of fucking Caldera. Okay. Over here. And do I have any more juice in this dagger to do another flyby? Nope, not enough. Let's wait 24 hours, see if we can get enough. There we go. Love it. Okay, we'll soar our ass all the way over to the Mage's Guild. And we'll... Yeah, we'll take the guide back to Caldera, right? Look at this, this is going great! Oh my gosh, we're building up like a repertoire of tools. The only thing I kind of have concerns about is like... Do I have a way to summon like a ghost or something to cast shit at me so I can absorb its magic? I don't. Extremely do not. 
Yeah, what the fuck? All right. Worth keeping keeping an eye out for like a a useful, I don't know, summon ghost, summon ancestor yes, ghost. Which it shouldn't be that hard, right? We should be able to easily find like a fucking amulet that summons a stupid ghost, right? <laughs> Lord knows in volume 1 of Morrowind Mondays, we found like a bazillion of those things, right? That and something like skeletons and shit, which we don't really want skeletons. They're not exactly known for their magical capabilities. Okay. Yes, friend. Let's see. Let's go over back to Caldera. Yes, friend. Good. Actually, do you does anyone here Shopping happen to know enchantments? How to summon a fucking little man or whatever? <laughs> Shit, I don't think so. Okay. Unfortunate. I suppose it is my duty to help How about you? Less fortunate than huh? myself. Now you only know barter. What's you? this about? Spells, huh? Calm, armor eater, spirit now. Oh look, yeah, summon some shit. Oh fuck, these are all... <laughs> None of these will work. Right? I don't know, do scamps shoot anything at you? It might be too dangerous for me to summon a scamp, you know? I heard it might be too dangerous. Oh look, our athletics went up. Lovely. Okay. Hey, and look, another good reason to go and look for Pimeni and all that for the boots. We're already out here in Caldera, you know? Yes. Perfect place for it. All right. Over here, and up we go. You don't happen to know how to summon a fucking ghost, do you? Hmm. Hop Toad. I know we looked through your stuff earlier, but now I'm kind of... Yeah, I was kind of hoping for a ghost. Hail and welcome. Do you have any news? Okay. Up here. Very well. Good, good, good. There we are. There's the man. Let's do a quick save just as well, just in case. Hey. Did you replace the erroneous documents? I did. Have you done as I asked? Do you have the old land deed, and is the new one in its place? Yes, I have, of course. I will take your word that you put the deed in the right place. This is the erroneous deed, which I will dispose of personally. Take these scrolls for your troubles. All right. So we got two scroll of Uth's Hand of Heaven, Trinas's Spell Twist, and the Black Storm. Ooh, the Black Storm is a good one, isn't it? I am blessed to be at your here. service, Outlander. Oh, the Hand of Heaven, of course. It gives us Levitate. Spell twist, wow, reflect 20 to 60%. Wow. And then, yeah, Black Storm is the damage one. Shock damage, specifically. And damage magicka. Pretty good. All right. Let's do a quick save again. Let's see. Let's check our journal. I told Oldral Helvi that I replaced the documents as he asked. Fair enough. How about the... Can we ask about the erroneous stuff again? You have done as I asked and corrected the errors in the land deed. All right, business. I'm responsible for land in the Ascadian Isles, and at this time of year, I need to collect the rent and taxes from the farmers. The two farmers I want you to speak with are Manat Van and Ada and Lovin Andis. Get 50 drakes from each of them and return to me. If they refuse to pay, Kill them and set an example for others. What a piece of shit, my god. I can't believe this dude here in Caldera has jurisdiction over the Escadian Isles, right? Huh. I would expect more like, I don't know, given Caldera's location, like the West Gash region or something, right? It seems a little too far, like, northwest. Alright. <laughs> it got, uh, what do you call it? It got gerrymandered. <laughs> Uh, why wouldn't? Honestly, that's the least surprising thing that uh, that Vardenfell might be heavily gerrymandered. <laughs> All right, Manad, Varn, and Ada. What do you have to say about them? Yes, as one of the farmers, I want you to find. He lives just east of the Arvel Plantation. Lovenandis. Yes, he's one of the farmers. I want you to get the rent and taxes from. His farm is just west of the Dren Plantation. Okay, sure. 
But you know what? Honestly, in, in thinking about that, you know, we're we're having fun. We're laughing about it and all that shit, but hey. <laughs> that's the least of the terrible things we've done to farmers as part of House Lolly, right? <laughs> that's the that's really not the worst thing we've done to Vardenfell's working class so far. <laughs> Alright, let's try and uh, recall out of here, I think, right? There we go. Good. Because this will be the perfect opportunity to get our butt over there. Right. We are using recall. Right. Okay, good. Lovely. Okay, let's pop a... Let's pop three of these. Why not? There we are. Okay. Any second there. <laughs> Fuck. Alright. Alright, let's get some more. You know what I miss? How come it's not screaming at me, you know? When I try to pop the... When I try to use my magical spell. Where's that... Ow, ow, sound effect. Where's that at? I love that sound. Hey, there we go. Beautiful. <laughs> Great. Okay. Oh, wait. We should also check in with him, right? Just as well. Hello there. How are you? Okay, let's see. What was it again? Hmm. Rent and taxes. A few drakes is nothing to one as worldly as you or I, Dumpling. The farmers may not have five drakes to spare, much less fifty. And I suspect O'Drow merely wants them killed. Here, take these five hundred for keeping me informed and pay the rent yourself. Don't risk your succulent skin trying to find the farmers. Right? Like, this is... Like, he's... Is the case with Crassius Curio that he's like, well, I I guess he's n probably at the time. I don't know if he w I think him him being so like horny is written more for comedy rather than him being like, oh, this guy's a creep, right? I feel like it's more played for for laughs than like a more serious point of contention, and, he, and he's meant to be seen as more heroic in all of this, right? And he is. Like, here, as we can see, he's being really kind-hearted and all of that, right? Like, I think maybe we should disregard um, his horniness as <laughs> as being a, a point of character and all of that, because I don't think that was the authorial intent. Although, certainly, right, today, it doesn't come off as, like, just for laughs. It's also like, oh, this is funny, but <laughs> it's a little fucked up, too, if you think about it too much, right? <laughs> but um, with this, he's definitely like doing a pretty good ass thing right this is this is really like a very kind hearted thing and like it, it reads as his character as being like a good person that is part of a fucked up system trying to do their best to make it better perhaps right um similar to right similar to what's his butt in in the legion right I mean, with, in the Legion, it's it's a lot more cut and dry, right? Because there's no, like, weird shit with with him being, like, <laughs> extremely horny. <laughs> the, um, uh, Perseus Mercius, right? With Perseus Mercius is exactly this kind of person just as well, right? Where they're trying to do... They're in, like, a system that is kind of fucked up, but they're trying to do good, right? I don't know. Maybe, maybe that is... Maybe it's the incorrect read, but I feel like in O2, right... That kind of writing for, for Crassius Curio, it's totally exclusively just for laughs, right? It's just like, haha, look at this! It's a funny oh, way to, to have the player interact here, right? Don't think too much on this, because Lord knows we're in the year 2002 and <laughs> very few of us are thinking on this much. <laughs> Alright? Fuck me. Alright. Let's see, let's head on over to... Hmm... Let's head back to Caldera, right? We just need to go directly there. Alright. Let's see. Over this way. Or should we should we check back in on these farmers? I don't I don't know. Nah, I don't think so. We'll just lie to the dude, right? See, I'd say if we had like if we had the boots of blinding speed, sure. Let's go out and check in on them and see what they have to say. Right? But <laughs> it's the they're really out there, you know? They're out there pretty far. <laughs> That's a long way to go. Here we are. Alright. Back up here. 
But yeah, before we wrap things up with Odral, we should definitely grab those boots. We could probably still run over and talk to these farmers and all that shit, right? We could probably still do that even after we complete this. The dialogue option, I could imagine it would still be available and they'd have something different to say, right? Because I don't actually want to extort them and all that, yes, right? Outlander. I don't want to be like some kind of fucked up, like, I don't know, <laughs> corrupt ass fucking collector or whatever, right? Okay, over here. Let's yes, see. Something to say Let's travel to out to Caldera again. Yes. Friend. Or I guess I guess in this case, right? In this case, are we not like <laughs> Odral Helvi has essentially hired us to play the role of a Pinkerton agent, right? <laughs> Is that not what we essentially are here? <laughs> to run out to these fucking farmers and like get more in in tax money from yes. them than we know for a fact that they likely have with the express intent like oh yeah if they don't pay kill them <laughs> make an example of them and kill them <laughs> right and aren't these are these were these the names of some of the farmers that owned the property that were a part of um those deeds that we were like fucking around with I am blessed to be at your service I think at okay. least one of them was but I'm not sure okay Helvi, what's up? Yeah, I have the... Did you, do you have the rent in taxes from the farmers, or did they hold out on you? I have them. Do you have the hundred drakes from Manat, Varnan, Ada, and Lovin Andis? Yes, here it is. <clears throat> I must admit, I did not think you would actually get the rent, Lyle Snub. Well then, shall we discuss other business? All right, yeah, we can... Probably next time, though, huh? Let's see. Let's check our journal here. Cressius Curio told me that the farmers probably do not have the 50 gold. He asked me to pay the rent and taxes myself. Well, I mean, he paid it for me, right? Uh, Odral Helvi thanked me for collecting the rent from the farmers. Okay. Oh, yeah. What's all this? Odral Helvi asked me to collect 50 gold in rent and taxes from Manat, Varn, and Ada and Lovenandis. If they refuse to pay the rent, I should kill them. I can get to Manat's farm by going west out of Saran and following the path across the Isthmus and keep to the left. Loven's farm is further on the road west, just past the Dren plantation. Ah, I like that there's not much in the way of like editorialization, like opinion from our character, from our prisoner bound by prophecy here, but it is written in a clever enough way for them, for like whoever wrote this decided intentionally to mention the Dren Plantation, right? Which, you know, it is also good directions, right? Maybe it's coincidence because, you know, the Dren Plantation is like, oh, she fucking can't miss it. <laughs> right. But also, you know, it's kind of telling, right? Okay, cool. Yeah, when next we come back, we'll continue on with more House Lalu shenanigans, right? Man, the writing in House Lalu, we've, I know we've said it before, but fuck, it's really good, right? The intrigue is just so fucking delicious, right? <laughs> All right. Yes, when next we come back, more House Lalu, more of this terrible asshole, probably more of checking in with uh, Crassius to see what he has to say and all that. Thank goodness we have our mark and recall set up, right? All good shit. Until next time, please take care of each other.